And speaking of use of force, continues to be a focus on police reform here and across the country. Metro Police and community leaders spoke today about the work they're doing together. The I-Team's David Charnes is live outside of Metro headquarters with more on that. David? Well, Denise, the Chauvin trial obviously highlighting a lot of these issues across the country, right here in the Valley and right here inside Metro headquarters. The Sheriff's Multicultural Advisory Council, they meet every month to talk about issues involving race, culture, and policing. And they called a press conference today to talk about the work Metro is already doing to make sure what happened in Minneapolis does not happen here. Members of this group pointed to Metro's work on de-escalation, use of force, and other training to make a difference in what these officers do every day and the sheriff tells me these conversations they need to continue. You can't do anything when you have somebody down with their face in the concrete. You can't talk, they're not going to listen, they're not going to hear anything that you have to say and you have to call medical attention. And so we worked on those things. We worked really hard on those things. We're trying to teach the officers uh, to look at it from a different paradigm, uh, to slow down, um, remove the emotion from the equation and get an understanding of the situation before you rush in. And that, that's going to take a little while to change. Of course, Las Vegas saw those riots and protests following George Floyd's death almost a year ago now. And with this trial underway and a verdict sometime soon, speakers today say they hope for peace and calm in the days and weeks ahead. Live outside Metro Police headquarters, I'm David Charnes, 8 News Now.